Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a Mass Salamanders walkthrough video on the Salamander Big Multiplication Game. This is a game for two to three players, and I'm going to show you how to play. There's instructions included if you want to check them out, but I'm going to basically show you the ropes so you don't necessarily need them. But anyway, here's the premise of the game. The premise of the game is you want to multiply these numbers together right here. Okay, You get to choose two, and you want to connect four of those together. So let's say we got those four. Those are four in a row. That would be a win. Now, there's a lot of strategy involved because let's say I get three together, and then the other player, he blocks me, let's say on both sides. Well, now I don't have four in a row, so then I need to kind of find somewhere else to go. So it's kind of like connect four. It's multiplication. It's uh, The whole premise is multiplying by powers, excuse me, by multiples of 10. So there's a lot going on here, and it's a great strategy game to play in class. So we're going to choose two different colors here. We got blue for the blue salamander. This is my guy, Sal. Okay, we've seen him before in other videos. We're going to make him that like reddish pink color. Okay, so blue will go first. Now, there's a lot of strategy here because not all these numbers, okay, in this grid can be made by multiplying these numbers together. It's a little limited, so you need to be careful. Don't just choose number, uh, choose numbers that won't appear. For example, if I choose 3 times 4, that's 12. 12 isn't even on here. So guess what? You basically just lost your turn, and now it's going to be Sal's turn, Red's turn, or pink, whatever color you want to call this, and he gets to choose. So he needs to be a little bit more careful with which numbers he chooses. So he's going to go ahead, he's going to do be a little careful here, and he's going to choose 8 times 30. Okay, So 8 times 30 is 240. Okay, so then he gets to put a marker there. Now, if you want to use your pencil and mark it for each player, uh, colored pencils, or if you want to use like little tokens or little uh, markers, that's fine. So you can reuse the game board. But there's all different ways to keep track. And you could have the third person, if you're playing with three, check the answers of the two people and then switch. Or if you're playing with only two, have the other person that's not going check your answers. But it's important to check each other's answers. Don't just believe the other person that they're doing it correct. Okay, so... Blue gets to go again. He kind of screwed up the first time around. So let's have him do something like uh, 8 times 40. So 8 times 40 is 320. So let's see if we can find 320 on this board. Now, how do I get 320 first off? Well, 320 is because 8 times 4 is 32. But since we have that extra 0 in the 40, we're going to add an extra 0 at the end of the problem. It's essentially 8 times 4 times 10, and anytime you multiply by 10, you're going to add an extra zero on at the end. So that's the reason why this is good practice with these types of numbers, because you get practice when multiplying by seemingly big numbers, but really they're not that big, okay? So let's go ahead and look for 320 on this game board, okay? And it's right there. So they're far away from each other. They got potential both to win, okay? So it's back to Red's turn. Maybe we should just call it magenta and get it over with. Now, you got to be smart here because we have only these guys that we can uh, make with the numbers, okay? So I'm going to see if I can make 280. How can I get 280? Oh, boy, that means I need like uh, 4 times 7. Ah, here we go. So I'm going to do 7 times 40. 7 times 4 is 28. With the extra 0, it's 280. Check it with the calculator. It's correct. Now it's Blue's turn. Blue goes. Okay, so Blue, he's got the same problem. He needs to make these numbers. Okay, so I know I can do 40 times... Mm, I need to be careful here. 4 times 30. So I know 4 times 3 is 12. 12. And then I got that extra 0 from the 30. So 320, that is my answer. I'm going to put a marker down. Now both of them are in a tightly contested race. So now I have 2,400. Okay, that's the only place I really can go. I don't want to go the, these places because that's not four in a row. I could go diagonally if I wanted to, but it's too late there. There's not four there, so I really have only one choice there. I'm limited. I need to go straight down. 2,400 is the number I'm trying to get at this point. So let's see what numbers I need to multiply to get 2,400. Six times four I know is 24. Two zeros on the end, 2,400. Okay, so I only have one more to go to connect four. Now it's Blue's turn. So Blue's trying to form 4,500. Well, I know 9 times 5 is 45. With the extra 0, that takes me to 450. That's where. 
I'm looking for, that's right here. So I can get 450, but can I get 4,500? I can't because I would need 90 times 50 for that. So guess what? I made a, uh, or Blue made a very big error. He's not going to be able to connect four right there. He's kind of stuck. And now the magenta colors got a chance to win it with 160. 160, we can get four times four is 16 with an extra zero. Boom, we get 160. We can place that marker there. And guess, got, guess what? We got four in a row right here. And uh, I don't like how that looks. Let me just connect it like this. We have four in a row right here. Sal the Salamander is going to win, and that's how you play this game. So pretty cool game. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Mass Salamanders video, I have a whole playlist there uh, at the end of this video and also in the description below. Make sure to check out tons of great resources and games on MassSalamanders.com, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.